they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with another try at a Christmas special. Well, so far it's been really dumb. Anyway, well we've got one more gift to go, so let's give it the old Christmas try. I'm pretty sure that's not the expression. Sure it is, Jess. You just gotta get in the spirit. I'd rather get out of town. Well, that might be happening soon. Oh yeah? A Christmas trip? Maybe, but we've got to finish the special first. Well, let's get it out of the way. You did gold and frankincense, kind of. So what have you got planned for Myrrh, man? You guessed it. Guessed what? Merman! Uh, that's got less to do with Christmas than the first two. Well, it's too late, because we're looking at Masters of the Universe Origins Merman by Mattel. Raz Holly, hit the music! Twenty's Masters of the Universe Origins line rolls on, releasing some of the big names from the series. And this week we take a look at not one, but two versions of everybody's favorite saltwater warrior. No, it's Merman! Masters of the Universe names come in three categories. Names with man, names with or, and names based on a pun or play on words. Merman is in two categories, as is obvious with his name ending in man, but the name can also be a play on the male version of Mermaid, mythical sea ladies who generally take on villainous roles, and Merman is no different. Along with Beastman, he's one of Skeletor's main goons. The first version of Origins Merman is based on the original action figure from the 1980s. The second looks more like the animated version of Merman and is based on the original ideas for the character when the line was to be called Lords of Power. More on that later. Anyway, let's not waste any more time and take a look at some Mermen. Okay, from 2021, Masters of the Universe Origins Merman. The Ocean, Warlord, Modern Posing, Retro Play. We know the deal by now. The box looks like a dead ringer for the original Masters of the Universe uh, series packaging. Very, very cool. The, the red crystals bursting forth underneath the, uh, the, the shiny logo. Super, super cool looking. Looks pretty much just like his old time 80s counterpart with the only exception that he uh, has modern posing and uh, made out of some different materials and we'll see that as we get it open it does come with a comic book and i'm sure every single figure in this series that we see on the back comes with the same comic book but before we look at that Lurking in the darkest depths of the ocean, Merman awaits Skeletor's orders to attack Eternia's surface world. Includes comic book, oh it sure does, um, and we see a, a beautiful illustration of Merman lurking beneath the deep with some ocean friends of his as He-Man and Skeletor battle it out on the surface. As we see here, you can fit Sword of Rakash in his hand. As when I was a kid, it always looked to me like it was a corn cob. Anybody? Anybody else? Anyway, as far as all these figures are concerned, I got every single one of them except for She-Ra. I have, I have never seen She-Ra out in the uh, in the stores or anything. Have seen her on eBay for 40, 50 bucks. Um, I don't want to pay that much for a She-Ra figure. Um, she's pretty cool, obviously, and pretty sought after. The the uh, what is she? The, the cousin? He-Man's cousin? Or is that Supergirl is, 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 is Superman's cousin? Is she his sister? I don't know! Also, we got Roboto and Zodak, the Cosmic Enforcer on there. We'll see those guys a little bit later. But as we take a look at the box here, you gotta love the packaging, the way we see the entire, the entire figure 
from top to bottom and almost all the way around the back. There's nothing hidden here. We know exactly what we're getting inside the box. And now let's take a look of Merman from Lords of Power. Um, as we see the Lords of Power logo, or at least the whatever they've come up with an approximation for the Lords of Power logo, when the Masters of the Universe was first being kicked around as an idea by Mattel, it was originally called Lords of Power. Um, I think legal or, or somebody uh, in Mattel in the uh, in the process of approval was like, yeah, no, it sounds too uh, religious, so we'll call them Masters of the Universe. Interesting um, little tidbit to that. My neighbors growing up were super Bible-thumping religious kids. We're not allowed to play with Masters of the Universe because... Uh, the, the, the connotation that that uh, there <laughs> that there isn't only one master of the universe. Um, so yeah, they weren't allowed to play with the, with the He-Man figures. Uh, too bad. More He-Man for me, motherfucker. Um, here is Merman, Ocean Warlord, as more as he looked on the the animated series, um, and a really really cool looking version of uh, Merman. This one was a little bit harder to find and I think I found him because the box is a little fucked out. Well, good for me. Hey, you see these figures, these hard to find figures in the in the boxes at the at the stores? Uh, do me a solid, fuck up the box for me if you're not going to buy them all. Fuck up the box so that when I come along or somebody else comes along that just wants the figure that doesn't give a shit about the box, I can pick it right up. And the scalpers, they go on to the next one. Hey, Let's take a look at the back of the box as ruler of Rakash. Merman orders the monsters of the deep at the behest of the evil Skeletor. And we see Merman engaged in battle with uh, what looks like Tila, but Tila's blonde for some reason. Um, Tila and she's riding a Pegasus. It's like she's She-Ra or something. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Merman uh, in battle there, and there's like a ratfish octopus behind him. Real crazy shit. Very cool, though. Same thing as before. We can, we can fit his sword in his hand. Wow, what a feature. And you can twist him into powerful battle positions. As always, um, we, got, we got a different uh, set of figures here on the back. And from this series, I got them all, baby. I got Faker. I got Skeletor He-Man for sure. I got Fisto and Evil Lynn. Actually, scratch that. Reverse it. There's a new He-Man and a new Skeletor out there with faces that match the old faces. Um, they made kind of a new scope on the heads. Um, I guess people weren't too uh, none too pleased with that. They did a. Um, they're they're running a change here on these. And uh, man, if I if I see one out there, I'm gonna pick them up. Not the most important thing in the world to get another He-Man or another Skeletor, um, but I would like to get them um, just to have those heads that are a little closer to the original. Um, and, and again, on the front of the box here, you can see everything it comes with, the comic book behind it, his figures behind him, nothing hidden with the exception of his accessories that are in a plastic bag and wrapped around his waist with a rubber band, and I'm sure everything is bent all this shit. But I can't wait anymore. Let's get both of these goddamn things out of the box and see what they look like on the inside. All right, so first of all, we've got the comic books. As we all know that the comic books that come in the, in the series, they all come with these figures here, all come with this comic book. All these figures here come with this comic book. This one's called Sucker Punch. And we see He-Man about the freaking uh, ambush uh, Fisto um, for some reason. Um, looking maniacal there, uh, He-Man. And then... Uh, we got, we got Skeletor on the front, Dimensional Doom. Uh, got a few pages, little story here. I mean, they're great little comic books. Um, they, they're nice, they've got cool little stories and uh, great art, with the exception of the fact is that back in the day, when uh, Masters of the Universe first came out, each figure came with its own individual comic book. And um, I don't know why we couldn't do that. It's not like they're inventing new fucking characters or coming out with new shit. So why not just reprint the old books with the new figures? Um, I think people would be uh, 
and people might be all about that, but this is what we got. We got these. They're not bad, um, but they could be better. All right, so let's get to what people really give a shit about when it comes to these things, the toys. Here is Merman, um, looking like the old school Merman from the 1980s. I didn't have a Merman growing up. He was one that I missed, actually. Um, I never had him growing up, but I did have the repaint of the of the Merman character. Um, I had I had Skel I'm not Skeletor. I had Stinkor. Uh, Stinkor. And uh, Stinkor was, uh, they used the same face and they used, um, you know, the, this same body. A lot of the things they did reuse. These uh, these sort of like clawed feet and stuff like that. Skeletor and all the bad guys have those. Um, the, the furry Speedo or whatever, everybody's got that. Um, very few things were proprietary on, on Masters of the Universe figures. They actually doubled up and, and tripled up and reused a lot of different stuff back in the day. But as far as this figure is concerned, you look Looks very, pretty goddamn cool. He's got his uh, corn cob sword and his uh, and his crazy fish face. Very very cool looking. Um, his uh, uh, chest shield proprietary. That's all for Merman. Very neat looking. Very aquatic. Um, even these, even though these the, the claw feet they, they come on all the bad guys. This is kind of kind of cool because. It, it, they almost look like flippers a little bit. He is very, it's like the, with the color and everything put together, he looks very aquatic. He's very awesome. That's, that's Merman from Origins. And then, then when you take a look, when you take a look at this Lords of Power Merman, and he looks so much like the, the animated Merman and, and how cool, like, wow, look at that face. Wow in the, the body shield and we've actually taken the time to paint um, the feet. Looks like he has like little crowns, like the sea monkey crowns on his, <laughs> on his boots. Um, and uh, look at the detail on the little waist piece here. It has the chest guard with spikes. Very, very cool looking fins on the arms. Um, even more aquatic looking. Got the same sword in a different, a little darker color. Um, that doesn't necessarily matter. But man, and you know what? They made the head a l slightly more poseable. You can you can get all sorts of crazy poses on this merman. So when it comes down to to both of them, that's probably why you can fi find this one a little bit easier. Because it, when people saw this one at retail, holy shit, how fucking cool is this? This is a great great looking figure and I know earlier I was talking about how I wanted the He-Mans that had the original looking faces um, to, to look more like the original figures. Hey, I didn't grow up with a merman so I, as far as like what he looks like, it doesn't necessarily matter to me. This looks more iconic to me as he looks like he did on the cartoon, which was what I was more familiar with as a kid but all in all, both great figures. These Origins figures are awesome. At the end of the day, if you can find them at retail they're fantastic for what they cost they're under twenty dollars they're like fifteen ninety nine sixteen ninety nine fourteen ninety nine something like that depending on where you find them but the only problem I have with them is that I wish that more people were able to get their hands on them at retail. They were able to get them for retail price because I believe at retail price these things are a great value. Well, that's Merman. What did you guys think of these figures? Let us know in the comments down below. This has got to be the worst Christmas episode ever. What are you talking about? This isn't the Christmas episode. What are you talking about? Christmas is next week, and we'll be taking a look at the Nativity by Playmobil. Finally, something to do with Christmas, but I thought we were going out of town. We are. I just got to get this Christmas episode knocked out real quick, and we'll be out of here. Well, make sure you get on that, Gorilla. Ah, there's plenty of time, Jess. I'll get to it. Anyway, that's all for now. We'll see you next time on the Dan Classic Show at Christmas. Raz Holly, hit the music!